Shepherd One itself is a cooperative, and a cooperative truly is a membership that are working as partners. And when we saw what Homes for Heroes was doing in the community, bringing different businesses together, um, bringing the trades together for a greater cause for our veterans, it just fit, fit it very well for us to be a part of that partnership. And Canada is a safe, prosperous, peaceful place. And I don't believe that's a coincidence. Um, there are those among us who uh, are willing to sacrifice on behalf of the rest of us. And so when those men and women of the military leave the military, and if they find themselves without a safe place to sleep at night, I think that that's incumbent upon all of us, society, um, to rectify. Um, yeah, the government has a part to play in that, but so do individuals, churches, and businesses, small businesses like ours. You know, the purpose of the Homes for Heroes Foundation truly is to end the issue of veteran homelessness. But the tiny home villages um, give a safe place for our veterans to come in and then in turn work a program. So we met with over 200 veterans in building this program. They advised us that they wanted to come into a program, not just housing, get back on their feet, work on the issues that got them on the street in the first place. And a lot of the times that's post-traumatic stress. And it's really, it's the, they wanted a hand up and, and not a hand out. And, and that's what we're here to do. And we have incredible partners um, that have come together, Carver One, to help us do that. Ah, so it, it isn't just about the housing. Um, the role we Homes for Heroes provides is really a lot about the programming afterwards and that social services and the wraparounds um, that we provide them. We have to work closely with the military serving sector and we also work closely with the homeless serving sector. So we marry those two and there's social programs available for each. So on the veteran side, we work closely with Veterans Affairs to ensure that they're getting all that they are eligible for. And on the homeless serving side, we work with many social serving agencies that help them with mental health supports, that help them with training, job and life skills. Um, so we have a wide array of different programs and services and the community is really involved with the collaboration on getting everybody stabilized and healthy and um, transitioning back into the community. Um, so when Homes for Heroes talked about their vision, and it's a big one, to eliminate veteran homelessness from coast to coast to coast, um, I knew that we had to be a part of that. Schneer has been a valued partner with Carpet One and all the members of Carpet One for many years. And when we were asked to participate in this project, it was a great opportunity to get involved and help the community. The, the finished product is exceptional. Uh, when I walk through this tiny village and I see these tiny homes and I see the quality, the quality of the finished product and the work that's been put into it, the dignity, you know, that goes with that quality. We are not just putting up a home. Homes for Heroes Foundation is not just putting up a shelter with four walls and a roof. They're actually building a community and they're building a quality community which shows and extends dignity to those that are going to be receiving services from this place. I think a lot of them come in and they're surprised at the amenities that are available for them. They come in and they see a full suite of what is typically in a larger house, but in the condensed space. I had one gentleman come in and he came with a green garbage bag of clothes and all his belongings when he moved in. And he told me it had been two years since he hung up his clothes. So for that, for him, it's the little things that they appreciate. They see the food in their cupboards. They don't have to go hungry. So watching it through their eyes, it is a, a real joy to know that we're doing some really good work for these gentlemen. So the, the idea here with the tiny homes, they have the full comforts of a traditional home, absolutely amazing inside. You know, they have the bedroom, they have workspace, they have the kitchen countertop, television, place to relax and so forth. Um, but it is built in this barracks format, all inward facing. So, they're forced here to work as a team, as a unit, to take care of one another. And these tiny homes do that and they lend to that. Yeah, I mean, this place is tiny, but it is, it's beautiful. And I think that is special. I've, I've toured a lot of um, 
transitional or uh, subsidized housing. And believe me, it's not all beautiful. It's utilitarian, it's functional, it gets the job done, but it can be ugly. And this is not that. This is a beautiful little home. And I think that speaks to Homes for Heroes vision and their compassion and care. It's not, it's not just a roof over these veterans' heads. It's a, um, it's a whole program, a whole community, really. So I'm proud. You know, we're very proud of these tiny homes. We're very proud of the standard of construction. We're very proud of the materials that have been used in putting them together. We know that when our veterans arrive here, they're going to be very appreciative of what it is that they're being given. Working with a company like Carpet One, Schneer, uh, and seeing the quality of product that they've contributed to this project just makes it all that much better for us. Yes, we used Nature's Walk Luxury Vinyl Plank. It's really great on durability, accessibility, and very easy to clean. We also use Ceramica Uno for the uh, mosaics on the walls uh, for backsplash in all the, all the areas. And Calgary was our first village, so we've learned a lot. Uh, Calgary is our smallest village moving forward, it's 15 tiny homes. But since we started, we've had nine graduates. So that means we had nine veterans that came in, they worked on themselves, they got better. Now you don't heal from post-traumatic stress. You are given the tools to work with it and to contain it and to overcome with it. They've gotten back on their feet. They've gotten jobs. They're now contributing back to society. They moved out and they made room for the next vet. So, you know, and we have expected a couple of more are gonna be graduating soon. So we find that to be an incredible success. So Calgary's running very well. You know, we got Edmonton up and running and uh, our tenants will move in shortly. And then down the road here, we've got Kingston, we've got Winnipeg, we've got Halifax, uh, BC, we're committed to do three there, three in Ontario. So uh, look, we got a lot of work ahead of us, but um, we're a proud group and we have incredible partners. And you know, without the partners like yourselves, we wouldn't get this done. Our inspiration to participate in this project came from the greater good of doing something for our veterans. These are people that have given so much for our country. Uh, the value of life and the quality of life that we live in our communities and the luxury that we have today came at a price and the price was paid by our veterans. And to be able to step in in this way, a small way really, but to make a big difference in their accommodations and the way that they live, it just means so much to us and our membership. And I'm looking forward to see what happens in Kingston and beyond.